Alright, now everybody, I can't believe I'm saying this. School is done. Well, at, at least for vacation. So, I don't have to go to school anymore because it is now vacation time. Yeah! I can't even say how excited I am right now. I mean, the thing that I've wanted my, for so freaking long now, for so long, to go see a space shuttle launch. We finally, this was the longest freaking week ever. I mean, in all honesty, the clock honestly felt like it was going like this. Yeah, really, really slow. The good news is, it's finally here! So now I just gotta actually uh, do things, you know, like pack and uh, get ready to go and all the fun things that I'm really looking forward to and that I really enjoy about this. And I just can't believe it. this time tomorrow, it's currently 2.15 in the afternoon here, I can't believe it. This time tomorrow, I'll either be in the air getting ready to land or at Orlando International Airport getting ready to start my actual vacation. Now, tomorrow, I don't know how much of my video camera I'll be able to use here because my goal is to try and get as much footage as I can of everything, uh, including, you know, the ride and I don't know how security is going to be at the airport now with everything. So that may be a little harder to get, you know, video of it than it was before, but I'll do my best. I'll see what I can get for you guys because... Tomorrow's a really, really big day. So, also today we, you know, we're getting a little packing done. So yeah, that'll be out of the way. And tomorrow morning, the make wish is actually sending a limo for me, which um, I can't wait for. And that's start, the limo's arriving here at about 8.45 in the morning. Our flight's a little after 11.30. Alright, so uh, it's a little later now. It's about 7.45ish. And uh, at this point now, it's just getting all the final things ready and packed up and closed and everything and uh, organized because I've got to decipher which of these wires is actually going to wear. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very daunting task. So right now what I'm doing is I'm coming over here and grabbing my flight jacket, which is what I normally wear to work at the Lower Hudson Valley Challenger Center. Yes, that one. And, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this with me on the trip. And I'm going to be wearing it for launch and photo ops and, uh, fun things like that. So that's going to be really cool. And, by the way, to all my Twitter friends, you see who's joining me here? That's right. Miko from the Space Tweep Society. Which, by the way, if anybody wants to join the Space Tweep Society for people that love space, the link is right there. SpaceTweepSociety.org so I'm going to get this in my room and pack it up and I'll catch you in my room. Alright, so right now I'm just uh, getting everything folded up and uh, packed in here, but while I'm here I figured I'd take a little time just to reflect on how amazing this trip is going to be and I can't wait and uh, I have to give a big special thank you to everybody over at the Challenger Learning Centers, um, especially June Scobie Rogers, the founder, for uh, helping me make some of these special things that I get to do possible. And, uh, the launch viewing site that we have, that's also courtesy of them. And it's great, and it's a great organization, which is another reason why I'm taking this with me. So, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about Challenger Centers for Space Science Education, uh, like the one that I work at, the Lower Hudson Valley Challenger Center, conveniently wearing the t-shirt, you can find out more about that at challenger.org. Once again, that is challenger.org. And actually, these vlogs are being linked onto their homepage. So thank you once again to everybody at Challenger for doing that as well. So everybody out there in the land of Challenger Centers can see what a flight director gets to do going to see an actual space shuttle launch. At this point, my bag's just about all packed up. It's uh, almost entirely ready to go. We've got... Uh, everything packed in there that we could possibly even want or think of. And, uh, I got the jacket right on top. And, of course, one thing that I always do is, on for some reason, uh, we always try to make sure that we can identify our bags at baggage claim. And so one thing that we've actually been doing recently, or for a while now, since 
I first started traveling, which was a while ago, was actually uh, putting stickers all over my bag. And a uh, very special thank you to Mark Ratterman, who does the Talking Space podcast, who got me a couple of extra stickers, including this one for the Apollo 40th anniversary. And as you can see, I have all of the other stickers on here. So... You can see we've got all of them. It's a little bit upside down, I apologize. But we've got a couple of Cabo San Lucas, Encinitas, California, Mickey, of course, from Disney World, uh, Rangers, even though I'm a Devils fan, Titleist, uh, New York Jets, which huge fan of, and, of course, must have. How could you not go to NASA and not have a NASA patch on your suitcase? So once again, thank you, Mark Ratterman, for those two stickers. Because, as you can see, they're being put to good use. They're going with me to Florida. Alright, so my next goal now is to uh, work to get this suitcase here to close entirely. Uh, it's going to be a daunting task, but it can be done. As you can see, it's gotten a little wear and tear because this has been my suitcase for a long time now. But it's all set to go, and I believe I am all set to go too. So this is going to be the last full blog that I get to do here from uh, New Jersey. We're doing a little bit tomorrow, but until then, blast off, everybody.